Hi guys, welcome back. Took my time to get to this one, uh, but I had to do it. It's one of these stupid little jobs that's just got to be done. Uh, put in straps on the fuel tank. Anyway, let's see how I'm going to do this for the second time because I messed the first time up. Right, you join me under the car where it echoes because <laughs> of this cavernous gap I made for the uh, fuel tank. I've got the fuel tank right here. I'm going to put it back in and then we're going to work out what or how we're going to strap it in. It's not going to stay in because I'm going to be undercoating the lot, uh, but at least I can fit it, make the uh, straps and which will be attempt two because first time I tried to make the straps, I royally messed up. <laughs> or I failed to remember that the, uh, the axle actually sits in underneath it. Either way, <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in. It's only four bolts. Then we work out some straps and then I'll take it back out. Um, I can't think of anything else to do. I've got loads to do, I just don't wanna do it. Anyway, let's put this in. Oh. Right, now that that's in, I can look at putting a strap along here, I think. I'm trying to think of the best place to put it. Best place has this in the way. Um, I'd like one right on the end, but there's stuff in the way over there. It really is difficult to put a strap on this, uh, on this tank, but we'll give it a go. Bear with me, I can't actually show you very much under here but the initial idea was to take some uh, 30 mil aluminium bar and fit it there somewhere I could even fit it there in fact I think that's where um, I originally thought to put it but for those of you who've spotted the deliberate mistake apart from having this the wrong way around uh, this cutout in the fuel tank is there because that's where the rear axle goes. So I'm going to have to find a way to put this up here somewhere and have it go into here or, and or, um, put one down here somewhere. But where I'm going to mount it, I don't know. I wanted to have the mounts come off the side of the um, subframe mounts as well, but I'm not sure how to do it. And, and I keep forgetting how difficult this decision is because there's nowhere really to put one. I could put one there, I could get away with that. So I might use this one because it's in the wrong place and bend it in the right place, drill and put some rivet nuts in my support bar and um, and that should be okay up there I'm not even sure if you can see this <laughs> but as for down here it's gonna have to go at the back somewhere but how I'm gonna mount it I've no idea it's never as easy as it looks let's shorten this one to fit back here Right, ignore the mess. You know what I'm like. When I start, uh, when I start drilling and um, and cutting, I just end up with a desk full of rubbish. So we need to bend this at 25 mil. Right there, and right there. 
Now, I know it's aluminium and I should do it properly, but I think I'm just going to do it in the vise. In fact, let's do it properly. <laughs> I'm not going to do it properly, just in case you're all wondering. But I do need a square mark. So where's my set square? Remind me to clean up this week. <laughs> there it is. So I need to bend it same way as that. Do it this way. that'll do. Same the other side. Now let's try it on the car. All right. Let's put this. Oh, it was always going to be too long, wasn't it? <laughs> so I need to cut it roughly and I'm going to do it by eye. Give myself a little bit more there. And There. So I'm going to cut this and then hopefully it'll fit in place and it hopefully should fit right there. Let's try the other way, see if it's any better. Yes, that's a little bit better. So I know you can't see because it's behind this, but um, it fits. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit of rubber in between as well as an isolator. So, screw the front off that. <laughs> so now I can measure properly and cut again. There. And Right, I'm going to cut on the lines and I'm going to drill a hole in the middle so we can mark it up on the car. I won't show you that. I'm sure you've seen me drill plenty of holes. Oh. Right, here we go. Front point in front. Now I just need to pick my spot. Where do I want it? Could go anywhere really. But I want it somewhere that doesn't uh, catch like there's, there's arms here, <laughs> and I don't want it catching them, so I really don't want to do this, but I feel like I've got to put the subframe back in, just to see where this can go. <sighs> oh well. Okay, subframe's in, uh, and up here is the, I can't even get my hand in there, is the strap, and as you can maybe see, uh, if I put you there, this is actually in the way. Shows you how much room I've actually got. <laughs> Not a lot. So if I, I can get my hand somewhere else maybe, if I mark it there, maybe forward a bit, like, if I mark it there, 
if you'd focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so if I mark it there, I know you can't even see because of the light either. <laughs> I'll mark it there, take the axle out, take the subframe out, and then you'll see where it should go. But you can kind of see now why I was uh, worried about where I was going to put it. Because if I go the other side, there's a, the bracket is there for the fuel tank anyway. So not much room at all. There it is. Uh, mark it there. Take the axle out. And put the strap in. The other strap can be done from out here. So we put a strap here somewhere with something coming off here. I don't know. I'm getting pretty good at that by now. <laughs> if I didn't have brake lines to disconnect, it'd be out like that every time. Right, let's drill those holes. Oop. difficult than it should have been because <laughs> these things are in the way to get the um, couldn't get them in properly so these rib nuts are at a bit of an angle but I'm not too worried so this should actually fit right up in place now And like an idiot, I didn't bring a spanner under here with me. Although, now let's get let's get a socket. Oh, oh, yeah. I guess those rib nuts didn't work.
damn it. Well, I can tell you something for free. These aren't going in easy. <laughs> the astute amongst you will notice I had to go further back because the holes I made there, I just couldn't get a rib nut in there for a decent purchase. So I'll have to find a way to fill that in and that one in. But either way, it's holding the tank up now. These are loose. And these are loose. I've put a bit of rubber in underneath so it doesn't rattle on the tank. Uh, it's only really holding up the corners, so I hope it's um, hope it's going to be okay because there's a bit of play in this. Either way, that's the front one done. Now we need to find a way to put one on the back here. Uh, and obviously it's going to bend up here, but I don't know where to mount it. i got a lot of options but not nothing there <laughs> nothing easy so i think what i'm going to do is put the rear axle in again because i love doing that by now and maybe then i can build something off here or something i just need the axle in to see what sort of shape i'm in I seem to be a glutton for punishment at the moment. This axle has been in and out. I keep calling it an axle, it's a subframe. <laughs> but this subframe has been in and out more times than, uh, than I care to admit. At least it's really easy at the moment. Anyway, let's set you up. And you can watch me put it back in again. You see, I spent all that time doing the um, Remounting the subframe, moving it 16 millimeters forward. And this is all you're missing. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't film it because it's literally in, out, 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 in, out. So much more room for activities. Nice. Now, I'm gonna find room for this. But I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> Putting this axle in didn't help. <laughs> okay, before I show you what's going on underneath, uh, I've marked the center of this uh, strap. I've also marked uh, the, the center of the tank is marked as well, so I've lined them up and then I've marked the edges of the tank So I know I need to bend it here at least so I might bend these now and then look at making a Bracket out to the bends I'm not entirely sure but I think but at the very least I've got to bend it here and I'm trying to think of a reason not to So if I bend it here now, then I can look at how I'm going to fix it. Oh, look how strong I am. I can bend metal. Tappy tap tap. Tappy tap tap tap. And this is where I find out it's not long enough. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. And just check. It's perfect. <laughs> Come with me under the car and you will see all the wonders that will be. Oh. I get too old for this. <laughs> so here's the situation. We've got, uh, oh, what a perfect fit. It's really dark. I need my light. We have got this that fits up there, but catches the mini sump that I've got, or this that doesn't fit up there because the bracket's in the way, but fits behind the mini sump. So what I'm thinking of doing is bending it here and building something off the chassis rail to mount it to. That's probably my best solution. So first we need to bend this in the right place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a straight edge off Oh, I'm going to put a straight edge off the back of here I measure that distance from my hand to the chassis rail and that's where I'm going to bend this. So the distance was 80 millimetres. Bing! Let's mark that out. 80 millimeters is that oh. now do I want to commit and bend that there yeah let's commit and bend that there I can always buy more aluminium or aluminium Check it in, let's have a look. So this should now fit there. Oh, awesome. Now I could, I could put it straight into the chassis rail. At least I could if they want the, shut up. At least I could if they want a big old bear. <laughs> um, other solutions include not doing it at all <laughs> or bending this again to oh I don't know of all the things I've done on this car this has been one of the most difficult I've had to use my brain. I know what I could do. It's a little crude, but let me see if I can show you. Oops. What I can do is put a piece of angle iron coming off there just as a shelf and then with the strap I can then drill into the oh I'm doing a terrible job with this camera today uh, yeah so if I can weld some angle on there I can drill in through and bolt it there I think that makes the most sense. Okay, there's the oh, there's them two in there, they line up, 
Ow. Uh, <laughs> find my bolts. <laughs> One and two. And I'll just put a bit of rubber in between you as well to take up that slack. And yeah, hopefully that'll be okay. Well, I'm quite unhappy with that, uh, with that solution. <laughs> uh, I just don't like the way all the bolts are going up i'd like something to be going across so it takes the uh so so the, the the bolts are in shear instead of in tension um like i said this is taking up way too much of my brain power for now it'll do but i am open to suggestions in the comments about what i can do to fix it chances are i'm gonna have to buy new straps anyway i think they were fairly cheap but only about 12 pound for the pair so uh, i don't mind redoing it but I, I honestly don't see a way of doing it otherwise. So if you can, let me know in the comments. And if you've got any better ideas and you can visualize it and picture it, give me a shout on uh, Instagram or Facebook uh, or Twitter, if you're following me on Twitter, um, and show me some pictures. See what you can come up with because I'm just not happy with it. But it'll do for now. Uh, it can be an improvement route for the future. On the subject of Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, you can go follow me on all of them. Uh, I've put the tags up on the screen for you. It's quite easy. I'm Jaff Bills everywhere. And if you are a current follower, you've probably seen my short shorts recently that I've started doing. So pretty much every day of the week, I'm checking up a small video on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook sometimes. Just given a bit of detail of what I'm doing for that day because pretty much every day in my household is a car day. <laughs> it seems to be helping the channel grow a little bit. If you don't want to watch them, you're not being forced to, just ignore them. Uh, you're still going to get Flexus updates once a week, uh, providing everything goes okay. So yeah, I'm going to end it on a bit of a downer there. <laughs> I wish I could come up with something better, but I think it's good enough for now. I'm probably never going to be happy with it, but... Uh, Maybe one day I end up building a tank with some, I don't know, integrated straps or something that is just a better solution. Either way, I'm going to pull everything out again so we can move on. Uh, put a bit more weld on those on that right angle that I've put in underneath and just put a bit of paint on it to make sure it doesn't rust. Anyway, that's enough chat. I chatted enough last week. <laughs> Ciao. Right, ignore the mess, you know what I'm like. <laughs>